imagine taking a trip to your local farmer's market and finding nothing but empty stalls. That could become a reality if we don't address the harmful impact global warming is having on agriculture. There is a great deal of sensitivity to weather and climate in agriculture. As well as land, water and other natural resources, climate has a significant impact on agriculture. In some regions, climate change, such as changes in temperature, precipitation and frost timing, might extend the growing season or enable different crops to be grown. But it may also make agricultural practices more challenging in others. Climate change will impact agriculture based on its rate and severity, as well as the extent to which farmers and ranchers can adapt. The following are 10 ways that global warming harms agriculture. Number 1. Reduced crop yields. Climate change can cause temperatures to rise beyond the optimal range for crops, resulting in reduced yields. High temperatures can cause heat stress in plants, reducing photosynthesis and the growth of new leaves and flowers. Number 2. A change in precipitation patterns. Droughts and floods can be more frequent and severe due to climate change, reducing crop yields. Water stress can be caused by droughts, while flooding can wash away nutrients from the soil and damage crops. Number 3. A rise in water stress. As the temperature rises, more water is lost through evaporation, which results in water stress for crops. As a result, crop yields can be reduced, particularly in arid climates. Number 4. Pest and disease pressures have changed. Increased temperatures can result in more pests and diseases damaging crops. Warmer temperatures, for instance, can prolong pest growth seasons, allowing them to multiply more frequently and cause more damage. Number 5. Degradation of soil. The effects of climate change can be seen in soil degradation, a reduction in fertility and an increase in erosion. Reduced rainfall, for instance, can cause soil to become drier, which makes crops more difficult to grow. Number 6. Changing growing seasons. A shift in the growing season due to temperature and precipitation can affect crop yields and reduce agricultural productivity. Planting a crop too early or late, for instance, may not provide sufficient water or nutrients. Number 7. The loss of biodiversity. It is possible for climate change to alter species distributions and abundances, including pollinators, which are crucial to crop production. There are many crops that cannot produce fruit or seeds without pollinators. Number 8. Increased heat stress. Higher temperatures can cause heat stress in plants, leading to reduced crop yields and lower quality produce. This is particularly true for crops like fruits and vegetables, which are more sensitive to temperature changes. Number 9. An increase in food insecurity. It is possible for climate change to disrupt food systems, resulting in an increase in food insecurity and hunger, especially in developing countries. A drought or flooding might result in a drop in crops, increasing food prices, making it more difficult for people to purchase nutritious food. Number 10. The frequency and severity of extreme weather events have increased. It is possible that a change in climate will lead to more frequent and more severe extreme weather events, such as hurricanes, flooding and droughts. It is possible for these events to cause significant damage to crops and infrastructure, leading to food shortages and higher food prices as a result. Climate change. What causes it? The burning of fossil fuels, the impact of agriculture on the environment and deforestation, changes in land use. It has always been the case that average temperatures have fluctuated significantly on the planet. It is important to note, however, that this current period of warming is occurring more rapidly than ever before. There has been an increase in greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere due to man-made activities. As a result, the average temperature of our planet is increasing at a rapid rate, making it impossible for living things to adapt. The main source of emissions in almost all economic sectors is the burning of fossil fuels, such as coal, oil and gas. GHG emissions from this sector make up more than 70% of global emissions. According to the IPCC, Agriculture and forestry generate almost a quarter of all GHG emissions, 23%, making it the second highest source of emissions after the energy sector. The natural digestion process, occurring in ruminant animals such as cattle, sheep and goats, accounts for approximately 40% of these emissions. In addition to deforestation, forest degradation and forest fires, land use and land use change are major sources of greenhouse gas emissions. Food systems linked to agro-industrial activities are often closely linked with forest conversion for grazing land for commercial cattle farming, the production of feed crops such as soy and palm oil plantations. 
Is there anything we can do? It is possible to reduce the impact of climate change on agriculture in a number of ways, including climate smart farming should be incorporated. To manage climate-related production threats, farmers can use climate forecasting tools, plant cover crops, and take other measures. By recovering methane from biogas produced by manure decomposition, livestock producers can reduce greenhouse gases. Runoff should be reduced. To reduce nutrient-laden runoff, agricultural producers can strategically apply fertilizers, keep their animals out of streams, and take more measures. The resistance of crops should be boosted. Pollination and pesticide use can be reduced by adopting research-proven methods for reducing climate change impacts on crops and livestock. Ensure that food is not wasted. Planning your shopping trips carefully and storing food properly will help you stretch your dollar and shrink your carbon footprint. Food banks and other organizations in need can benefit from nutritious, untouched food donations. As a whole, the impacts of climate change on agriculture are complicated and far-reaching. As part of mitigating climate change effects, a number of strategies must be employed, including developing more resilient crop varieties, improving irrigation practices, and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Thanks for tuning in and watching. I hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay updated. Let's work together to build a more sustainable future for all. See you in the next one.